Okay, welcome back. Uh, so, if you like me and every other artist, uh, you've probably spent a fortune on canvases and you've got them piling up and you don't know how to keep them and what's going on with it. So, I've, maybe I've got the answer, who knows. Uh, but I'm going to take you through a little process of how you can make your own canvases, super cheap, and then you just lay them flat and uh, you know it ends up being a really nice medium to work on and it costs you bugger all. So, these are made from just uh, calico fabric uh, that you can get from any kind of uh, cheap fabric store. You know, I got these at Spotlight and it's, you know, about six, seven dollars a meter, you know, cheap as chips, right? Um, and then I just use a standard uh, white house paint. Flat. Here we go, this bad boy from Bunnings, 15 bucks for however many, you know, two liters, five liters, whatever it is. Um, easy winner uh, get on with it so I'm going to show you the process of how we do it and then some of the finished product and it's a really nice surface to work on cheap easy to store lay them flat and a really nice uh, effect so anyway let's get into it I'll show you what you need and how to do it Go on. so first thing you're gonna need is your fabric Okay, so I've got my uh, piece of calico fabric here. Uh, just for the sake of this, I'm probably going to uh, do it in a smaller piece. And uh, so I will just uh, rip this bad boy into the size that we want. I quite like the rough edges on it, so I'm not too uh, fussed about uh, you know having to cut it all. So we're going to paint it anyway, so you know it's nice to have that little effect. So. That looks about right for the size canvas that we want. I might actually just take off this edge, just in this instance, because it's kind of universal. Um, let's get rid of that. Here we go. Now, let's get this on the wall. Ta da No, just kidding. Here, I'll show you how I did it. So, as you can see, I'm working on, well, it's a, a sheet of MDF, uh, you know, smashed up against the uh, wall in the garage here, but it gives me a surface that I can nail into, right? Uh, and it's an easy way for a decent working surface, you know, especially for larger pieces, better than an easel, but durable. So if you're lucky enough to have a, a half decent space, then that's okay. Uh, and what that allows me to is then to, uh, well, just nail away at it. So uh, I'll take my canvas and then I just give it a little bit of tension, not too much because it will pucker, but you just want a little bit of tension so that it dries flat. As you'll see later on, um, you know, it, as it, the paint gets into it, it gets wet and it kind of expands and it shrinks and it kind of stretches itself out. So, you know, you want to give it a little bit of tension, but you don't want to warp it. Because it will create its own tension, but anyway, you get a feel for it. There we go, easy as that. That's up there and uh, ready for me to go. All right, so we're just gonna get our standard house paints. Well, open this bad boy up. Not as professional looking as it probably should have been, but anyway, bang. All right, we've got some paint. And that is an absolute heaps more than we need right now. It's only a little piece, but anyway, it doesn't matter. I've got some other work to do. Nice full coat. 
coat, nice and even, it's all stretched out, and that's good to go. So, a couple of talks on the finish of it, right? If you just use the roller like I did there, which is just the foam roller, you know, it's, it's a little bit speckledy, uh, which is fine, and also we're going to get some other coats on it, and we'll, you know, we'll go through that process. But uh, if you don't have the roller, I mean, the, the brush is fine and good, or, you know, sometimes even better, but... I do like to get the base coat with the roller because it's a bit more even and it doesn't stress the fabric so much. But once you've got that on, if you use a nice big brush, one you can really get it on. But you get a chance to get a bit more texture from the, uh, you know, the brush, and so it can, you know, you can lay it off nice and evenly and, and definitely get a, little, a much smoother finish. So it wasn't won't matter too much in this first instance, right? And sometimes we might even give it a little bit of a sand um, in between the coats and that will definitely help smooth it up so uh, it doesn't really matter whatever you've got on hand you know let's get it up there any fabric will do I mean I'm using calico but you know you can use old bed sheets you can use whatever you've got laying around right and as soon as you it doesn't matter if it's stained you get that white paint on it it's brand new again right so anyway step one done step two done step three done who knows the steps but this is underway pretty much dry here first coat not 100% dry but dry enough to get another coat on it right uh, so now there's a couple of little tricks in regards to getting that nice finish on it, right? Um, firstly, you could, you know, get it on there nice and thick, let it dry overnight so it's really nice and uh, solid, and then get the sandpaper out and give it a, you know, take off those top edges. But if you get it when it's, you know, kind of three quarters dry, almost kind of there, uh, like it is at the moment, uh, you can kind of, you know, almost burnish it, you know, with your hand here and really kind of, you know, work that into the canvas and smooth off those edges and, you know, get a, a real nice kind of smooth richness to it. So, you know, that's a, a really nice way to, to bring a little bit of extra, you know, shine and sheen and take out some of those, uh, you know, spiky little bits. Just give yourself a nice, a nice surface. It's, you know, we'll then take that next, uh, that next layer on well and it won't bring in some of those other pieces. So, uh, you can see here loads up nicely and we are about ready to go on the next coat so now we've got a nice smooth uh, finish there I think I'll do this next coat uh, with the paintbrush so I can get a little bit of texture in it I'm just really going to wipe that off Take a look. Oh, and here we go. Here's a few pieces that I've done before, and they are all completed, and they are on this beautiful homemade fabric canvas uh, that you know cost me nothing. It was fun to make, and I had a great process with it. So, look, these are lovely little pieces, and now you know I can either lay them flat in a folder, and, and it's so they're easy to store. Uh, if I want to frame them, I can put them in any type of frame and they've got a, a lovely, rich, you know, canvas-like texture. So, you know, let's have a little flip underneath. We can see that, you know, brown calico. So they're great. They're easy to store. They're more durable than paper. They've got a really lovely texture. You can frame these up into whatever kind of, uh, you know, frame that you want or, you know, hang them as are. Uh, you know, they're a, a lovely little piece. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed this process on how to make your own uh, homemade fabric canvases and I hope you save yourself a stack of cash and uh, yeah keep painting